Please welcome Vijay Gabale, co-founder and CTO, Infelect Technologies. Infelect provides AI-powered retail visual intelligence solution. Let's hear it for Vijay Gabale. First of all, uh, thank you to team uh, Converge at Walmart uh, for uh, inviting me here to talk about Infilect. Um, so at Infilect, we are essentially a, a visual intelligence partner to global CPG industry. We work with the who's who uh, uh, in a CPG retail, right from PNGs to Kimberly Clarks of the world, uh, as well as with uh, a large format retailers. And um, what I thought I could uh, talk to you about uh, today is uh, how we helped one of the largest retail chains in Southeast Asia uh, to improve their poster sales and how we actually deployed image recognition at scale. Uh, but before that, oops. OK, I think my slides are totally screwed up. Anyway, there is supposed to be a world map there. But um, I thought I will talk to you about how I actually started and uh, what has been my journey like uh, so far. So uh, I started around July of 2015. I was part of IBM Research Labs. I actually met a few friends here in this event. Uh, and uh, I was one of the first engineers to work on uh, IBM Watson AI. And um, essentially, myself and my co-founder started with a very tech-focused background. And the initial product that we conceived was to build a B2C application between a Pinterest and a Flipkart. If you go to Pinterest, you essentially see a bunch of pictures. And if you go to Flipkart, you essentially see a set of products. So our idea was to connect these pictures to products. Essentially, you can shop from pictures. So we worked on that idea for almost three and a half years. We burnt all of our savings. Uh, we had built a team of around 20 people. Uh, but around September of 2018, we essentially realized that um, the use case was a niche. And we launched our product across the globe. We had users from uh, US, India, as well as uh, from Southeast Asia. Uh, but we realized that the use case was small. It could be a feature as a part of, let's say, a Flipkart website or as a part of a, 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 a Pinterest website. So we were back to square. Uh, and during that journey, we essentially observed that users were using our application to take photos inside stores to identify whether they can shop the same item at any of the e-commerce uh, sites at a cheaper price. Essentially, you go to a store, let's say you want to uh, buy a pack of chips, you take a picture of that, and our app would show, well, on any of the e-commerce websites, can you buy this uh, a same pack at a cheaper price? Um, so uh, we had to look for a new uh, use case, and that's where we approached uh, CPG companies. Uh, and we told them that, look, this is what we have observed a behavior for uh, your products, that you are, uh, I mean, people want to shop your product this way. Um, these companies told us that that is not the problem I have today. Uh, today, I myself don't know how my products are actually stocked on uh, shelves. So if you look at somebody like a PNG, uh, they don't have much idea about how their items are actually stocked across a large number of stores. I mean, these companies ship items across uh, thousands of stores. So how do you know your product is either in stock or out of stock on the retail shelf? How do you know what a consumer actually sees on the retail shelf? And that's essentially the problem we started solving uh, from October of 2018, and what I'm going to talk to you about our journey uh, since then. So since then, over the last uh, uh, four years, um, we work across more than uh, 16 countries. Uh, we cover over 400,000 stores across these countries from where we get images. Um, and uh, we uh, process today more than um, 50 million images from all of these uh, stores. So what's the problem we solve? Uh, for these companies, again, is essentially we help them understand how is their um, on-shelf inventory. 
how are their products stock, are those in stock, out of stock, what's their a share of shelf. We measure that and we help these companies to improve that. And once that happens, these companies essentially see a uh, lift in their sales. These companies also spend tons of money to uh, promote the ones that we see in the store, buy one and get one free, or uh, there is a 10% off uh, on biscuits, right? So um, there is a supply chain in terms of how that particular offer flows from a CPG company to the stores. And if those offers are not available to you, essentially somewhere uh, the company is essentially uh, losing out. So again, we solve that problem. Um, and we also know that, uh, I mean, retail is, uh, uh, an operations heavy business. There are so many people who work on the field, in the store. So how do we make life of those people easier? Um, so that's where we have built an application where uh, these people can take pictures and essentially it uh, helps them to optimize uh, their time. Um, so I thought I will talk to you about a case study, right? So this is uh, one of the largest retail chains uh, across APAC. And they had this a problem that there are almost 20,000 stores uh, which they have to manage. Uh, there are almost 10,000 SKUs. And the headquarters essentially supplies a, a, a planograms uh, to the stores. So essentially a planogram tells what particular item should go on what shelf. Uh, so now imagine uh, the HQ essentially sending a planograms for all different categories like uh, beauty care or hair care or even pharma, right? And uh, these stores, the uh, store staff actually implementing these planograms in the uh, stores. The HQ doesn't get a, a feedback in terms of what's actually happening in the store. The store staff sometimes is a, a clueless in terms of how I'm actually supposed to put up the products on the shelf, right? And that essentially results in loss of sales because these planograms are designed in a way in which uh, they can be optimized for a season or for a region. Um, so we have built a very simple to use a system. Essentially the store staff installed our application. Uh, in their regular day, they take pictures of the retail shelves. It just takes less than 40 seconds to take these pictures. Uh, sometimes we do processing on the device itself or sometimes uh, we essentially ship these pictures to cloud, we do processing. And within a minute, we essentially help uh, the uh, store staff understand where exactly are the gaps, what products are missing on the shelf, um, are there any compliance issues in terms of um, pricing levels not available, and that helps them uh, to uh, correct the fixes. If something is out of stock, they essentially go to back office and uh, put up a product on the retail shelf so that we as a consumers can uh, see that product and we can shop that product. And if you essentially close this loop, as I said, uh, the right products are always available at the right time on the right shelf, and that essentially helps everybody, us as consumers, as well as the store, as well as uh, the CPG company. Um, so, um, we essentially, uh, so, so the, this particular uh, customer approached us around April of uh, this year. Uh, we did a very short pilot in terms of uh, uh, trialing this uh, solution across about 80 stores. Um, and um, at the end of two months, they actually saw that their um, average sales from the stores where they had implemented our system was almost 3% higher as compared to their national average. Uh, and we also showed them that, look, the system is actually not an overhead on your uh, store staff. In fact, it saves them time because uh, in the past, they were, as I said, uh, clueless as to how should I actually stock the items on the shelf. But now the application essentially guides them to help them understand how they should do their job. So, so we, in fact, ended up uh, saving almost 30% of their time in the store. And uh, now we have expanded uh, in this particular customer to cover almost 6,000 plus stores where on daily basis we get these images and as I said, we give real-time feedback to fix the issues. Um, 
and um, we are expanding globally. Uh, we, as I said, work uh, across more than 16 countries. We are known in the market to do fastest setup uh, for image recognition. Uh, the thing about this particular problem is that, uh, so let's say you think about a PNG in India. So the packaging of the products would change completely if you go uh, and talk to PNG in Japan, right? So how do you uh, customize your uh, platform uh, to identify new products at a rapid pace. So that's where we have built a lot of IP, uh, and that is helping us to scale. Um, as I said, uh, we pretty much give the actions within a minute so that the fixes can be done in the store. And uh, again, we are known in the market to provide a very high accuracy. So that's all I had to uh, talk to you about uh, today. If you have any questions, if you find this interesting, uh, I would love to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Vijay. It was so thought-provoking.